The film started in a big, desolate desert. A photographer named Wyndham Stone, who was very committed to his work, went there to take pictures of the total solar eclipse, which doesn't happen often. He went off the beaten path and worked hard to find the perfect spot to take his photos. He then set up his camera and other gear very carefully and was ready to photograph the eclipse. As the solar eclipse ended and it was time to leave the desolate desert, Wyndham's way back was stopped by a surprise. A child by themselves, crying in the desolated desert. It was upsetting to see a child so helpless in such a desolate place. So Wyndham looked around but couldn't find any adult or family with the child. Feeling responsible, he decided to help the child get to a safe place. Even though Wyndham wanted to help, the child didn't listen to him and kept going. Worried, Wyndham asked the child where they were going. The child said he were looking for his parents because they were lost in the desolate desert. Hearing this, Wyndham felt he had to follow the child, even though he wasn't sure about it. The child took Wyndham on a long, wrong way, far from where his car was parked. Suddenly the child laughed and ran away fast, making Wyndham confused because he realized the child had tricked him into leaving his car for no real reason. Now it was getting late, and Wyndham was still far from his car. He realized that it would get dark before he could get back to his car. Even though he tried, the desolate desert was too big and it became completely dark. Accepting what was happening, he found a big rock to stay under for the night, getting ready for the cold and dark. In the silence of the desolate desert, Wyndham's ears caught a faint sound, like a small sign of life in the middle of the desolate desert. He was curious and hopeful, so he followed the sound until he found where it was coming from a concealed pit in the ground that led him to an underground house. Feeling a mix of worry and hope, he carefully went down with the help of a ladder. When Wyndham got to the door, he knocked softly because he really needed help. No one answered, and it was very quiet, so he went in, even though he wasn't sure if he should. Inside, he saw a woman named Alina, who didn't seem bothered at all by a stranger presence in his home. She just kept doing what she was doing, not paying attention to him. After that, Wyndham, sounding really worried, told Alina he was lost and really needed to use a phone. He asked her if he could use her phone, but instead of talking, Alina gave him food. Wyndham took this chance to tell her everything that happened to him and how a child tricked him, how amazing the eclipse was, and all the trouble he got into after. Alina, who hadn't spoken until then, told Wyndham in a clear and strong way, It's getting late. Sleep now. Since there was nothing more to say, Wyndham agreed and got used to the strange silence. Alina, acting like it was no big deal, changed her clothes to show the day was over and went to sleep, just like Wyndham. The next day, Wyndham woke up and saw that Alina was still asleep. As he got ready to leave, he left some money to thank her. But when he came out of house, he found out that the ladder he needed to get out of the pit was gone. Surrounded by high, hot mountains, Wyndham was stuck with no clear way out. When Alina woke up, Wyndham quickly asked her where the ladder was. She answered, I don't know without seeming to care much, and said, they sometimes bring it back. When Wyndham asked if there were other people living in this hidden spot, she didn't say anything, which made everything even more mysterious. With no choice but to wait, Wyndham spent his time taking photos of the beautiful, desolate desert. The day passed, but the ladder didn't show up. Determined, he tried to climb the mountains around him, but it was too hot and the ground was too dangerous, so he couldn't do it he had to accept that he would spend another night in the harsh, desolate desert. When the sun came up and there was still no ladder, Wyndham decided to keep trying to get out. He took a piece of cloth and a hammer from the Alina's house to help him climb. He was almost at the top when suddenly, some people he couldn't see threw a dead bird down at him. This made him lose his grip and fall back down to the ground and hit hard. The impact knocked Wyndham out, and he lay there without moving all day. When it got dark, he woke up to find a hammer had pierced through his foot. He screamed in pain, which made Alina come over to him. She quickly and kindly pulled the hammer out and wrapped his foot with a bandage she made herself. Now, because of his injury and the situation he was in, Wyndham had to stay in this faraway place for two more days. His future was now connected with the strange, desolate desert and the people living there who were just as puzzling. Two days passed, and Wyndham really wanted to get out of there but the ladder he needed to escape was still missing, just like when he first got there. Feeling very frustrated, he shouted for help, 
hoping someone who he couldn't see would hear him. Then he angrily goes into the house and grabs Alina and brings her out. When Alina came up to him, Wyndham got confused and asked her who she was and what she wanted from him. Alina was scared by his questions, but she still tried to calm him down and offered to take care of him and give him food. However, Wyndham didn't want food. He just wanted to go back to his normal life. As Alina came closer, trying to make Wyndham feel better, but he moved away, not wanting her help. Right then, some boys showed up because they heard him yelling for help earlier. They said, you asked for help, what do you need? Wyndham felt a rush of relief and told them he just needed a rope to get out of there. The boys left, saying they would come back, and Wyndham felt hopeful again, thinking they might actually help him. After a while, the boys came back with the rope Wyndham was waiting for. They told him to tie it around himself really well, and he did it very carefully. Then, all together, they pulled him up as if he was going to get out. But suddenly, they stopped pulling him up and started swinging him back and forth, making fun of him as he hung in the air. Wyndham begged the boys to stop being mean to him, but they didn't care and kept doing it. Then he hit the rough side of the mountain and got knocked out. Alina stopped the boys by talking to them in their language. She told them to stop, and they let go of Wyndham, making him fall again. When Wyndham woke up, he was back on Alina's bed, and it felt like he was back where he started. He tried to get up and leave this never-ending nightmare, but his injuries made him fall down again. Then Alina came over, who had been there through all of his struggles. She said in a serious way, Getting away isn't that easy as if her words were part of the desert's many difficulties. At first, Wyndham didn't want to accept that he was stuck. But as time went on, he started to understand that he couldn't leave. So, he started to listen to Alina, even though she didn't say much. After a while, they began to live together like a husband and wife, in a way that seemed normal and comfortable. The same kids who had trapped Wyndham in the desert started bringing them what they needed, often enough that it was hard to believe they were the same ones who had played tricks before. Alina took good care of Wyndham, cooking for him, washing clothes, and doing all the other things they needed to live there by themselves. At the same time, Wyndham felt better by growing a small garden, managing to get plants to grow in the dry ground. The very children who had ensnared Wyndham in this desert labyrinth began to provide for their needs, delivering essentials with a regularity that belied their earlier mischief. Alina, in turn, tended to Wyndham with a nurturing diligence, preparing meals, laundering garments, and attending to the myriad tasks of their isolated existence. One night, when they got some alcohol with their supplies, Wyndham drank a lot, maybe trying to forget his desire to leave. When he was drunk, he wasn't thinking clearly, and he felt a sudden, strong connection to Alina. The next day, Wyndham still wanted to find a way out of the desolate desert and away from the unpredictable people there, but he still couldn't find a way to leave. Just when he was feeling really down, a little bit of hope came when a boy came up to him with an idea. The boy said he wanted to learn and asked Wyndham if he could teach him. Wyndham saw a chance to do something good. He said yes to the boy. Of course, I'll teach you everything I know, but we have to get out of here first, and then we can start learning together like a family. The boy wasn't sure what to do for a moment. He said, I don't know if I can really help you get out of here. I can only try to help when my friends aren't around or are sleeping, but I promise I'll do what I can. While Wyndham and the boy were talking, one of the boy's friends suddenly showed up and caught them. The boy was quickly taken away, and the small chance of help he had was gone. When Wyndham went back to where Alina was, she told him something that would change their lives completely. She was expecting a baby. This news made their situation seem different and tied their lives together even more in the strange and confusing life they were living in, the desolate desert. Finding out that Alina was going to have a baby made Wyndham very worried and disturbed, the peace they had in their unusual relationship. Time, which used to be a big enemy, now seemed to go on forever because the boy who promised to help Wyndham didn't show up. One spooky night, there were strange singing sounds coming from the boys somewhere higher up in the desert. These sounds seemed to predict something bad was going to happen. Alina, sounding really scared, told Wyndham that the boys were doing a mysterious and old-fashioned ceremony. When morning came, instead of feeling better, they were met with Alina crying very sadly. Worried, Windham came out from their home and saw something terrible. The boy who had given him hope before was now dead, 
hanging lifelessly against the bare side of the mountain. He had died because of the intense and wild ceremony that he was part of. Seeing the sad sight, Alina was overcome with sorrow, crying out loud in the empty area. She looked at Wyndham with a face twisted in pain and blamed him for causing her child's death. Angry, she grabbed a piece of wood and hit Wyndham so hard that he couldn't move. Then, she locked him in a cage where he stayed for nine very difficult months. During that time, Alina gave him just enough to survive, which he ate desperately. As time passed, Wyndham started to feel a bit hopeful when a young girl found him in his sad situation. She was shocked to see Wyndham trapped in a metal cage. He begged her to help him get out of this bad dream he'd been living for so long. The girl left, seemingly to find help, but things took a terrible turn. The boy who had put Windham in the cage met her, and then something very scary happened. She was killed right in front of Windham. So Windham finally realized just how bad his situation was. The desolate desert, which looked beautiful but was actually dangerous, felt like a place of suffering for him. It seemed like he could never get out of there. The days started to blur together for Wyndham, who was locked in a cage. He saw old paintings on the cave walls that showed there was a tribe living there. As the time for Alina to have her baby got closer, Wyndham asked her to let him out, saying he could help her when the time came. But Alina, confident in her own abilities, said no. She told him she could handle it because she had done it before. Wyndham became more and more desperate. He begged her, free me from this cage, from this nightmare. If you can't do that, then please end my suffering. But his begging was useless because Alina left, and his words just faded away without anyone to hear them. After some time, Alina came back to Wyndham looking very worried. She quickly unlocked his cage and asked for his help, saying she was in a really bad situation. Even though Wyndham didn't really want to, he felt it was his duty to help her, so he left the cage to do so. Being locked up for so long had made Wyndham weak. His muscles weren't used to moving, so he couldn't walk well. That day, he saw a ladder that he could have used to get away, but he opted not to take it. It was like it was quietly asking him to escape. However, Wyndham decided to do the right thing and help Alina when she needed it most, instead of running away. While Alina was giving birth, she had a baby girl, which was like a light of hope in the lonely desert. They were really happy with this special moment because they had been through so much trouble. But this happiness didn't last long. The boys, who had kept Wyndham there, came down with a serious attitude. They quickly cut Wyndham's throat and kill him, and his blood soaked into the dry ground where he had been trapped. Wyndham's body was left outside, and it showed just how tough and unforgiving the desert can be. His story ended not with a happy escape, but with the sad truth that he died.